What's going on guys, Pros and Talk here back again with another WrestleMania review and I'm reviewing WrestleMania 25, the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. And you know, WrestleMania 25, um it wasn't I don't think it was uh, WrestleMania 25, I don't know, it was like watching it is like when it like it was a hit and miss for me. Like I don't know some things I liked about WrestleMania 25 and something I just didn't care about, but it was kind of like an after all to me. And one thing I didn't like about the show is the whole match order. Because you had here Taker and Shawn Michaels. But they're awesome match they had. And then you had Triple H and Randy Orton going out on last. And I was saying in my WrestleMania 24 review that I didn't like how Flair and Michaels did not main event. Which I thought should have main evented. But I was okay with it. But this one Triple H and Randy Orton the, the crowd was deflated after this. But yeah, um, so let's go on to the, the show. We open up WrestleMania this year with the Money in the Bank ladder match. We have Sam Punk, Christian Finley, Kane, Kofi, Mark Henry, MVP, and Sean Benjamin. And this match was real good. Sean Benjamin again stole the show, in my opinion. Kofi, this was his first Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, he had some great moments in there. Mark Henry, he looked pretty good in there too. Um, but CM Punk in the end gets the win. It comes down to the final three with Shelton Benjamin, Christian, and CM Punk. And and the crowd were really behind Christian. They wanted Christian to win this and finally get that world championship. And um, when Punk went up there and he was climbing up there and, and he knocked Christian off, the, fa the fans were absolutely booing the fucking CM Punk. So they did not want that. Um, they wanted Christian to win. But CM Punk gets to win. He's the only guy to win it back to back. Uh, then we have uh, the Miss WrestleMania Battle Royal, and also we have all the divas in there. Um, so uh, we have Santina, uh, which was also Santino. Santino won the Women's um, Battle Royal. Then we have Christian versus the Legend. Now this was the time when Jericho was pissed with Mickey Rourke about the whole wrestling movie and stuff, so he wanted to challenge the Legends to a match at WrestleMania. So, you know, he faced Snooker, um, Steam and Cat Match, Jericho gets the win. After that, Mickey Rogue knocks out Jericho, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, then we have Matt, Matt Hardy versus Jeff Hardy in the Extreme Rules match. Um, I, I really actually did like this feud in 2009. I think the, the feud was actually really well done, and it really was you know well done originally it was supposed to be Matt Hardy no Christian versus Jeff Hardy but obviously that got fucking rumored and you know Vince freaked out so we went with Matt Hardy I really liked this match how they really went there it was only 13 minutes but it was a good match Matt Hardy gets the win for the twist of fate then we get Rey Mysterio versus JBL um for the Intercontinental Championship uh, Rey Mysterio wins in 21 seconds it was a really short match after the match JBL basically quits and stuff and before the match he was basically bashing Texas because he came back to his hometown and he said oh well you haven't got his champion and now I've had to come back and make this time great again and Rey Mysterio obviously he beat JBL and then JBL quit and then he retired so that was his final match uh, then we had The Undertaker vs Shawn Michaels the first part of Undertaker vs Shawn Michaels obviously the, the year after they would have the Street vs Korea match um, and in my opinion, this match was really damn good. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm torn to, to say, like, is it better than the 26 match? But I'm going to have to watch that one back again to watch a compare. But this match was really damn good. Um, the, the build-up, though, I think for the 26 one was actually better, I think, than the 24, 25th one. Because, you know, la the, well, this one they had today, the, this one they had, you know, you had them popping out of caskets. And stuff like that. But the 26th one, it was basically like Shawn Michaels was possessed to defeat The Undertaker the year after. But this match, like I said, it was a good match. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think match of the night. Um, definitely got like, two guys in the 40s at the, t at the 40s, you know, kicking ass. And, you know, the Shawn how basically, you know, they still got it. Even though if they're nearly 50, they can still do it, you know. Um, but Undertaker gets one with a tombstone. Shawn Michaels kicked out of a tombstone. Um, and then take a kick out of his finisher. Then he had a great spot where 
Taker was going for his dive outside the ring and then Michael's been at the wing, puts a cameraman in the middle, he gets crushed by Taker. So that had really done great things in there. Then you had um the next match, it was John Cena versus Big versus Edge. Edge was the world champion again in this at, at this WrestleMania it was at the last one. And the whole reason about this feud was basically that Cena wanted a world title match and Vicky didn't want to give it him because she didn't want him to be a part of the of the World Title match and Basically, John Cena found footage of Vicky and Big Show making out, and obviously they want to go out to Edge, which he basically did anyway. And Edge and Vicky would break up, and um, John Cena would win the World Championship. It, it was a, it was a solid match. Then we get to the main event: Triple H versus Randy Orton. If Triple H lost by counter or disqualification, he would lose the belt anyway. Um, this was the whole time when Randy Orton was against the McMahon's and stuff, and Triple H invaded Randy Orton's house and. Yeah, stuff like that. So I, I thought the feud was actually good, but I thought the match order was bad. Like putting it on last didn't make sense to me. Um, if you want to end the show on a good high, you I would have maybe put that. I I would have had like Triple H versus versus Randy Orton after JBL and Rey Mysterio, and then you would have had Undertaker and Sean main event, and then you could go home happy. And the fans were like <laughs> they won't feel tired after that, you know. Um, but this was you know this was a good match. Really. It was hard to get into because the crowd were burnt out and they just saw that Shawn Michaels and Undertaker match and they're like, we still haven't got over it yet because it was only like two matches ago that we saw that. Um, but yeah, Randy Orton, he, he, he tries to use a sledgehammer but it doesn't work. Triple H wins the pedigree and Triple H retains his world championship. Um, first time I think he ret- he's won a, like he won at WrestleMania for like since 19. He didn't win a WrestleMania match since WrestleMania 19 so good for him. But overall, my thoughts on WrestleMania 25, I thought it was a good show. I thought it was an, like an okay show, I wouldn't say it was that good, but some of the things I didn't get about WrestleMania, that just the order of the match and stuff, and I don't know, don't think that WrestleMania 25 was a bit off to me, but yeah, what do you guys think about this WrestleMania? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And did you guys think that Shawn Michaels' last match was better against Undertaker, or do you think this match was better, the first one? Leave your thoughts in the comments about that as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.